I just calculated and I spent $1,400 on makeup. So currently my makeup routine is very simple, very basic and is the same every single day. But if you have seen my 2023 vision board video, you will know that I want to up my game in makeup and I just want to have a bit of a glow up in 2023 and become that girl. So I just got back from Sydney. I'm not going to tell you why I was in Sydney, but if you stick around for my upcoming videos, you will find out what my huge announcement is. Anyway, back to it. I did a lot of damage while I was in Sydney, but I'm going to split my purchases into two. Today's going to be part one and I'm going to cover all my beauty products I purchased. And the next video you'll see will be part two, which I'll cover all that amazing and beautiful clothing, shoes, heels and jewelry that I purchase. So let's jump straight into the beauty products I purchased. But before we start, all the products I do mention today will be listed all below um, in the bio. So the first product I got is from Charlotte Tilbury and it is the Hollywood Flawless Filter and this is a primer so it can either go under or um, over your foundation. So apparently this is really really popular and it gets sold out quite a bit. I got mine in the shade 2 which is Fair Pale. The packaging is so nice. That is it. But yeah, I'm really, really excited to use that because I don't ever use a primer. The second thing I bought is from NARS and this is the Light Reflecting Foundation. That's what the packaging looks like. And I got this in Light 2 Mont Blanc shade. So apparently this foundation is a light to medium coverage, but it is quite buildable. And they also told me that um, it's really good for dry to normal skin, as well as they said that it's a really good foundation when it comes to taking photos. But yeah, I'm really excited to try that one. They also did recommend um, applying it with your hands rather than a beauty blender or a, a makeup brush because they said it does soak up a lot of the products. But yeah, I can't wait to try that one. The third item I bought was another Charlotte Tilbury product and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. So I got this one in shade 3.5 Fair Pale and that is it. Um, I don't, I have never ever used concealer so I feel like when upping my makeup game, I just want to add a few more products to my routine to just level up a little bit. But the packaging is also so nice when it comes to Charlotte Tilbury. The next one I got once again is from Charlotte Tilbury again. I'm on a bit of a Charlotte Tilbury phase at the moment because I got a lot of recommendations from an influencer called Sophie Murray. She did this really um, like TikTok viral products for glowy um, natural sort of makeup and she recommended this. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish, which is a complexion perfecting micro powder. So that is what that looks like. Um, this is basically just to set the whole face once you finish everything and it's good for under the eyes as well as all over the face and it's really really pretty the outside of the palette. I got this in shade 1 fair slash pale once again um, and then it also just has a mirror on the inside as well which is really nice. The next one I got is also from Mecca and it is another Charlotte Tilbury product and this is the Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. So this is a liquid blush and it's in the shade Pillow Talk Dream Pop, which is um, their red liquid blush. 
I'm really excited to use this because I do love a lot of blush. I'm definitely a blush gal and I feel like with my skin tone I suit the more ready tones. And this one just has a little sponge applicator which apparently you just do a few dots and then blend it out with a beauty blender. Along with the liquid theme I popped into Sephora for this product and this is the Rare Beauty Effortless Bronzer Stick in the shade Bright Side. So this is this. Apparently it is the Rare Beauty um, brand is by Selena Gomez and I've heard really good things about this. Apparently it is such a nice um, blendable bronzer stick and it looks like that and it's just in the Mr. Bright shade which looks like that. The next two things that I bought are both from NARS and which I also got from Mecca and they are both from the same range which is the NARS Orgasm range. So I first was looking once again at the blushes because I do love a blush and this is their NARS Orgasm 4 Play Blush Quad Palette and it comes in the same, the container, if that's what you call it, looks exactly the same as the box, which is really nice. And if I open this up, these are the four shades that they have. They have th these three here, uh, the blushes, and they also put in a highlighter as well for, for you, which is really, really pretty. So I'm excited to try those out. Also in that range, I also, I wasn't going in to buy eyeshadow because I actually never wear eyeshadow day to day, but I do want to once again up my makeup game and start wearing some natural eyeshadow in my day to day work life. So I saw this palette, which I thought was quite a neutral and easy day to day palette. So yeah. I'm going to try those out. Love, love, love. I just saw them and I was just like, I was so tempted to just buy the whole, um, all the products in this range, but I withhold myself and just bought these two. So the next product I got is from Sephora. And I think this is quite another popular product I've heard on social media at the moment. And this is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And it's in Sweet Candy. And if I open it up, it comes in this cute little um, container. It's meant to be a sleep mask, but I think people literally just use it as a lip balm. It's just really, really hydrating. And to make it a little bit more luxurious, it also comes with a little um, applicator as well, which is nice. Because I don't like too much for pigment lips, so I like just a little bit of a tinted lip balm. So the next product I got is from Sephora and it is the Morphe Highlight and Contour Beauty Sponge, which just looks like this. And the reason I got this is because of the liquid products I got, the contour stick as well as the liquid blush. Um, the lady serving me recommended getting a sponge for that application just for the blending out purposes. So she recommended this one because of the dual side. So I've got the flats as well as the curves. So the last two items I purchased at Mecca was the I Obsess 12 piece eye brush collection, which includes 12 different um, brushes, literally every single brush you could imagine for the eyes. So yeah, and it comes in this cute little pouch, which is really nice. And literally, I think there's 12 different brushes. So there's a brush literally that covers every single thing that you could imagine. So yeah, I thought I might as well get that um, to go with the eyeshadow palette I purchased. The next thing I got was the Face, Face the Beat five piece face brush collection. And, and it comes in another bag and it basically has every brush you need. It has the Pro Flat, buffer brush, has a powder brush, precision brush, angle brush, and highlighter brush. So I thought it was really handy because it also meant I got a makeup bag out of it as well. So it comes with these 
five brushes, which will be really, really handy because I knew that I wanted to purchase, this was literally 40, I think it was like $44 and for five brushes. And I was contemplating getting one brush from Hourglass, which was like $120. So I thought, this was such a better deal because it got me the powder brush that I was after. The very last thing that I got from Mecca was something I didn't purchase, but it was the Mecca Beauty Loop box, which came with some free samples. And what I got in this was the Matte Revolution Illuminous Modern MAC Long Lasting Lipstick. And it's a little mini version and the shade is Pillow Talk, which is a really nude, brown lip and I thought it was actually so cute the little how small it is and it would be perfect to pop in my little circle bag that I take out to town that is um the shade it's quite just a nice neutral brown the other things I got were just little testers I got a Lea Papaya Perfume um never heard of the brand but might as well give it a go. And then the other thing I got was a Sh Shizidu. I literally have no idea of these brands, never heard of them. Essential Energy Hydrating Cream. So that is the other thing. The last thing I got was another brand, never heard of it, Bryo Geo Sculpt Revival Charcoal Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo which this one is a lot more decent sized sample. So yeah, got that one, worth giving it a go. So that is everything I purchased from Mecca and Sephora, but I almost forgot, I thought I would also mention these that I got from the Discount Chemist. So before I went to Australia, I actually had my Builder Gel removed off my nails. And I thought that instead of spending $60 every three weeks, that I might actually see if I could save a little bit of money over the next few months um, doing my own nails. So I decided to go to the Discount Chemist and I got the OPI Infinite Shine Gloss Top Coat, which is in this little black bottle. So I got that one. And then along with the top coat, I also got from the same collection, the OPI Infinite Shine Primer, which is the base coat. And it just looks like that, basically just a clear polish. And then along with the base coat and the top coat, I got two colors. So I got just a baby pink, the Infinite Shine Baby Pink, which is called the Mod About You. So I got that shade because I do love a bit of pink. I am a bit of a pink gal. And I do actually have this exact nail polish on my fingers at the moment. And the other color I got is the OPI Infinite Shine Big Apple Red. Because while I was in Australia, I did get my toes done and they are in a really nice cherry, like apple red color. And they look so nice, so I thought I would get this color so I could do a bit of a matchy matchy moment. That is everything I purchased beauty related while I was in Sydney. The next video will be part two and that will cover all the beautiful, amazing pieces in terms of clothes, shoes and jewelry. So I will see you in part two.